surprised of how much information this car has that this uh, unit can actually display. Hey guys, I just picked up this from Amazon. It's an OBD2 reader uh, for a any Japanese car that has the OBD reader or, or any car really that has the OBD reader. Uh, let me show you, it's actually pretty cool. This car is very, very simple. Uh, I don't have any error codes, but I always wondered uh, if error codes, um, how do I know what's going on? And this one plugs in very, very easy. So my car OBD is like right over here. So it just plugs in here. As soon as you plug it in, as soon as you plug it in, it turns on. I assume these are all the sensors that the car has. So I'm going to go exit. I'm going to go under OBD. It's entering system. And this is the part that I really, really like very much about it. Data stream. I didn't know that this car has so many things. Because this is a, such a simplistic board, uh, dashboard, you have nothing on it. So uh, you go under data stream. Uh, and you can view all the items if you want. Now, if you look at all the items, it's a bunch of stuff over here that um, you know, like you could recognize um, temperature of the motor, ECT, um, and other stuff. But what you could do is you could go back and then select items that you're interested in, and then um, you could actually select the items that you want to look at. So, uh, calculated load value, uh, engine cooler temperature. Uh, that's ECT, uh, short-term fuel trim, uh, long-term fuel trim, uh, so um, engine RPM, you could select that, vehicle speed, you could select that, ignition timing, you select that, air intake temperature, and let's say you, you could go through this list and you could just pick whatever you want, click exit, it's going to display those things while you're running the car. So right now it says that the engine is running at 183 degrees. Uh, RPM is uh, 600 RPM, if I could go more. Uh, spark advanced, um, that's the temperature of the air, that is uh, uh, intake air. Um, also, it will show you the uh, load. Uh, also, will show you all kinds of things. It's, it's actually very, very interesting. I'm, I'm a very, very... Um, surprised of how much information this car has that this uh, unit can actually display things that I didn't know about the car now um, also it has um, other things to erase codes and read codes so you could read uh, uh, all kinds of codes this vehicle has no fault codes code so I don't have any problems with this vehicle this vehicle works really, really well uh, but uh, the uh, you could read the code, you could erase code, so if you have certain things in the dashboard you need to erase, um, it will do that. Also, you could do a, uh, a sensor test. Uh, my, my car doesn't have uh, that option, so my, mine is a cheap car. But it can do so many more things that, uh, that I didn't know that the vehicle uh, has. Also, you have the vehicle information um, here. So, it's a very interesting tool. And then you could look up codes also. So if you have a certain code that you got a certain error, uh, you could diagnose your own problem by putting the code in here. Um, and then you, it will tell you what kind of a, a code uh, you have. So, uh, I am I'm very fond by this thing, uh, especially this part, the OBD, uh, and especially uh, this part over here where it says data stream. I really like the data stream. Uh, you could view all the items, so these are all the items that the, the car is basically streaming information. And this is a cheap car, and look how much uh, stuff uh, uh, it has in here. Um, RPM, um, a spark advance, like how many degrees, if I throttle it, see it changes. Uh, intake temperature, um, throttle position, so right now the throttle position is at where the throttle position is. Um, the, uh, there's so much uh, uh, stuff, runtime. Um, Things that I didn't know about the car. No, I know this is a geeky stuff. It's not for everybody, but um, uh, it's interesting because it tells you basically uh, all the all the things that you just didn't know about the car uh, that they they you know the car was going on with before. Uh, catalyst temperature. It tells you catalyst temperature, uh, voltages of how much uh, your your battery is charging right now is 12.2 volts. So little things like those that uh, uh, I'm I'm very very surprised that this car even has uh, them in. Um, because this dashboard is so blind, uh, there is nothing in it. It's just, uh, there's, no, there's only one check engine light that I've never seen, and that's about it. So, 
Um, when that light come on, uh, this will make the difference between knowing and not knowing what's going on. So uh, once you're done with it, turn the engine off and then uh, you could just unplug it and that's about it.